That is the state of California. It has taken an unprecedented step to help slow the spread of COVID-19. Its governor last night issued a stay-at-home order that covers 40 million people. Well, that virus can settle on surfaces, and you can touch those surfaces, get the virus on your fingertips, and then touch your nose or your mouth or your eye, and all of a sudden you've inoculated the virus on your own mucous membranes, your own mucous membranes, your own mucous membranes. I just spent the last couple of days designing this thing to not touch my face. And now it's time to build it. What if I use this thing? A tilt switch to sense when I touch my face. It's simple and effective, and this is the basic idea. This little guy has a tiny ball inside of it. It is allowed to move up and down the cylinder as it pleases based on its orientation. So how this thing works in a circuit like this one, is that the ball and this tilt switch can move up and down. If it is up, it is not making a complete circuit, so the light won't turn on. If the ball is down, making a proper connection, then there will be light for this LED. So what I can do is take something like this, like a speaker, and connect it to a battery, so that whenever I lift my face, the ball will go up and down, and hopefully when I raise my arm, it will make a proper connection and make an annoying sound. Oh god, that is loud. We're probably not going to use this, this is too loud, but you get the idea. Be on the lookout for parts. Rummage through old stuff and find what you can use. This means broken oscilloscopes, old broken Game Boys, cheap electronics. The world is your scrap pile. For custom parts, find a 3D printer. Or secretly use the 3D printer from your job. Realize electrical schematics are king. Except the fact that you suck at soldering. 
Hot glue is your best friend. Accept the fact that the final product will never look like the fancy 3D model. Well, here's the final product. It looks something like this. It's nothing stylish that's going to take away from your uh, Rolexes, but it's needless to say that this thing barely works half the time. It, it sucks ass, really. It will probably give you the coronavirus. Um, and essentially, it's my design fault that I didn't recognize the possible implications of having a tilt switch. And that's because I could still touch my face by you doing this. Like, it's not beeping or anything like that. But if I rotate my wrist, it can, I, I can now hear that I'm about to touch my face. And you can tell by this design that any way that I rotate my wrist, regardless if it's near my face, it's going to make a sound. And I realized the battery is dying as well. So this thing is not replaceable with batteries because I glued it. So this thing is pretty much a piece of shit. Well, at least I tried. I'll see you guys next time.